Hello, Poker Pals. Welcome to our 100 subscriber special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so happy. Uh, I'm joined with Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> I was going to say say hi, but... That's, that, no, no, we're tired. We're tired of that. I'm tired of it. Don't. Don't. No. <laughs> just, 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 no. <laughs> Computer went weird. Wait, wait. We're back. Wait. Wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so what are we doing today, Matt? We are going to be really stupid and just ask each other questions right now so you can get to know us better. Because we realize that you just know our voices. You should get to know the real us. I mean, people, de you deserve it. I will also post a picture of myself on Twitter so people know what I look like. Because no one has any idea what I look like. So make sure you, make sure you follow <laughs> us on Twitter. Your webcam is so stupid. Yeah. That's why. So make sure you follow <laughs> us on Twitter so that you can actually see my face for real. Um, you can go first, Matt, with your question. Alright, this one actually has to pertain to Pokemon. I mean, I have a few, but... Yeah. I, we should... What's your favorite Pokemon type? Favorite Pokemon type? Yes. Favorite Pokemon type is... One of two. Either Water, because Water is amazing, and everyone loves Gen 3 because there's so much water. And... Such yeah, water. Such water. <laughs> <laughs> and it has Pokemon like Omastar and... Uh, Omastar. And Omastar and Tentacruel, which is awesome, and Float Cell. And magic art. Well, so it's Gen 4! Yeah, but I meant as in, I'm just talking about water types in general. I'm just saying. I know, you were talking about Gen 3, and I'm like, Gen 4, okay, dude! Other Gen 3 awesome water types are, <laughs> as of Gen 3, Azimril, but I don't think it's from Generation 3. Sweet well, this is cool. pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah Stopper's pretty cool. Um, yeah, or Bug, because everyone hates Bug, and I like it because it's the weakest type in the game, and it makes me think of me, because I'm shit. Sure you, bu you bug all of us. I'm, I'm really bad at competitive. Right. Yes, this is why you don't play competitive. You don't competitively battle, Tom. You just yeah. don't. No. Right. What about yours? My favorite typing is actually dark. I've been a big fan of it, and it it resists a decent bit. I mean, it's one of the only few that's actually has certain weaknesses that you don't really see a lot of. It's weak to fighting and bug. But, I mean, it resists dark, it resists ghosts, it, re it is immune to psychic. I mean, those are bigger competitive uh, battling types, and it just seems like an all-around good thing. Plus, there's a lot of coverage in the dark type um, move pool. So, like, a lot of dark types have coverage moves. So, it just works out really well. And it's just grown on me very much. Okay, well, my first question is actually pretty much the same. So, I will rephrase it slightly. Who is Please. your favorite Pokemon, and what is your favorite move on that Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon in general? Yep. I mean, honestly, it's probably going to have... Okay. Not to be biased, Tom already knows why. Mm -hmm. Same lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a big fan of Bejeweled. No doubt. Bejeweled is amazing. And uh, my favorite move on that Pokemon... Yeah. And I run I run a Sableye with Dark Pulse instead of Shadow Ball, because it's still stab and it's not walled by normal types. Yeah. So it just works out really well. Then it's fun to use either that or like foul play or something. Hmm. It's a very good Pokemon. Oh yeah, love Prankster. Hey Matt, I wonder what Thomas Star's favorite Pokemon is. <laughs> <We're>... <sighs> Thomas Star is my favorite Pokemon, and Shell Smash is my favorite move on it. <laughs> Cause it could just sweep, smashing those, sh smashing those shells. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your question. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite uh, Pokemon game? Like out of all of them, Ooh. including like the spin-off ones, like the Mystery Dungeon, the Trading Card yeah. Game, like all of them. Uh, my favorite Pokemon game is Leaf Green. Probably. Leaf Green. That's probably why you're doing a randomizer on it. Yeah. It's. It's a better version of Red and Blue, and I, Gen One is going to kill me, but it's but it's graphically better, and that's the that's the only difference. So you can't really have a go at me for it, and it still has some really really decent Pokemon. The starters are all amazing in that in that game, the level three. Oh yeah. Uh, so who's what's your favorite? Okay, my favorite is honestly Heart Gold Soul Silver because that Gen Two remake was just beautiful. <laughs> Uh, my second question is, what was your first Pokemon game, and how does it compare to the recent ones? 
My first Pokemon game that I played was the original Solar. I had that... A friend borrowed it to me, actually. Lent it to me and said, hey, you're allowed to use this for, like, a couple months. Just go experiment on it if you want to. Because I didn't have a Pokemon game, but I had a Game Boy. Advanced SP. So, it just, like, they just tossed me over a silver cartridge. It was like, you can use that all you want to. And I'm like, awesome. Like, I went through it. Beat it all. Beat it in, like, a couple of days. Uh, got my Fralligator up to, like, level 98. And figured out how to clone it. So I had literally an entire team of, like, sweeping for alligators, <laughs> and, like, nothing could stop me. <laughs> it was so fun. So how does Silver compare to the more recent ones? Because obviously you have nostalgia on that one, but more recent ones can be a bit better, technically. Silver was fun. I mean, the original Silver, I liked, I still liked the, um, the cruddy graphics that were from the original games, like how it all started out. I mean, it was, it was really fun playing in that two-dimensional platforming. But that three-dimensional platforming is a lot of fun as well. I mean, it seems more interactive. Like, you can really see the movement of the Pokemon and, like, get all the detail of it. Like, captured from the anime. Like, that was... I thought the anime was so cool because you could physically see the entire characteristics of that Pokemon, like, into sort of, like, a three-dimensional form. Yeah. Like, where it almost seemed realistic. And whenever they did that with the games, I thought it was one of the coolest things ever, so... I'm going to get slaughtered for this. My first Pokemon game was Pearl. Yeah, you're getting slaughtered for that. <laughs> it doesn't... It I borrow, it, And also, it was an accident that I even played it. It was an accident? Yeah, I, I clicked on the wrong game. I had one of those like ROM hack DS things, so it had a whole bunch of games on it. Mm -hmm. and I was meant to click on Animal Crossing, and next to Animal Crossing was Pokemon Pearl, and I was like, ah, screw it, I'll play this game. <laughs> and it actually turned out to be one of my favourite games. And it's now one of my favorite game series. Compared yeah, I liked to, I liked to Pearl. Ones, Pearl is probably one of the worst because story wasn't the best. Pokemon it added were great, but Platinum was fun. Yeah, Platinum was fun, but Pearl just I don't think it stands up quite now. Yeah, uh, I had Diamond, Platinum, and Soul Silver all at the same time. So I was like, I think I've chopped like. 2,000 hours on those three games before I went on to Gen 5. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whenever you're doing a lot of, like, trading and online battling and everything, you really do chalk up a lot of hours. And I was, like, a really big on the Global Trade uh, Station. Yeah. Like, back then, whenever it was, like, an actual place and you went in and, like, did online battle videos and you can, like, record and send out videos all you wanted to. Like, the versus recorder in, um... And, like, black and white in uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, I think was one of the coolest things ever, because it almost seemed like an entirely different thing. Yeah. Like, a part of it. Like, it almost seems like a different device. I mean, like, the formatting was so cool. But, um, whenever they just made it kind of plain with, like, uh, X and Y and Oris, I was kind of sad. Because I was like, the Versus Recorder was pretty cool. I loved using it all the time. I mean, like, I still use it, but I mean, like, just opening it up and being able to save other people's battles that you had with you over online and everything like that. I mean, you still do, but it just wasn't really fun to, like, interact with it. Yeah. All right, your question. Okay. This is this is just pertaining to current events. How do you celebrate Easter? <laughs> um, it's going to sound really weird. I'm a fan of milk. So it starts off weird. So I basically, with all my Easter eggs, I, mm -hmm. I eat the top bit, and I just drink milk from inside the big chocolate egg. And then when I'm done with the milk, I then eat the egg, and it tastes nice. It is huh. really strange. I don't have I this year. I'm going to see my cousin, and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing around her house. So that's gonna be fun. That's <laughs> good. that's 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 interesting. It's, it's a weird way. It's. Usually we, just, we get a bunch of families together, we go have a meal, and then after that I just do that weird egg milk crap. Stuff. Yeah, things. Stuff. Also, yes. it's actually, I don't know how big Easter is in the UK compared to the USA, so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to hearing your answer on this one. Actually, well, we do we do a lot of stuff. Like, it's almost, um, it's like, uh, it's almost kind of like we do it also kind of like gift giving sort of where you we would my family what we do it a lot with Easter is we um, 
we like make Easter baskets for each other. Like mainly like with my grandmother and I, I helped her out with this. We were making Easter bags. We put like candy and stuff and then give it out to the entire family and we'll all get together and like have like a family dinner or something like for a couple hours. Like we'll, we'll all get together and just uh, spend time together. Like we'll, we'll have a big Easter mass at our church. Uh, it's because I'm part of the choir there. Uh, we do, uh, we, we do bells with, uh, the mass. So like we'll have like tons of bells ringing throughout singing and crap. It's kind of fun. Sounds good. Um, yeah. Mine is my next question is a bit weird. Yeah. Who, what is it? Who is your biggest YouTube inspiration and why? Um, uh, my biggest YouTube inspiration. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, just someone who just who... I watch a lot of, or? Well, when you see them, you watch. When you watch their videos, it makes you want to not copy them, but it makes you want to try and do as well as they are and make people as happy as they are and stuff like that. Produce content roughly along the lines of how they do it. Um, I would say uh, Justin San Juan. No, ju uh, uh, oh snap, it's Justin. He's I've uh, he's one of the few YouTubers I actually started watching, and he's really fun to watch. Honestly. I mean, I bought a cam. I uh, met him on Facebook after uh, I subbed to him and uh, added him on Facebook, and um, we started talking for a little while. Like he's he's a good friend of mine now. Yeah. And um. Uh. Like, hold on. Uh. Just putting something away right now. Um. He. Uh, he kind of started. He kind of got me started because I bought a camera. I got a camera from him, like for like my own personal like recording and such. Yeah. And um, I still use it. Like it's it's still really fun to use. I mean, it's a really good camera. I got it for cheap too. So it was like like one hundred and fifty dollars. I paid like twenty for it. Oh, that's pretty that's good. So it's a really good deal. Yeah. And um, he gave me a tripod for it. He gave me a few other things for it too. I mean, he's really, like, he's really been an inspiration. I mean, like, he has a really good personality as well. He's a really outgoing, fun personality, and that's kind of what I'm trying to go with whenever I do my videos. Good answer. Um, <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> my biggest YouTube inspiration is the King Naffy. Surprisingly, it's a PokerTuber, so it doesn't really work out for me very well because my favorite inspiration is someone who I want to try and become better then but... <laughs> <laughs> which, we're, which we're working I yeah, mean we're working, we're, we're, working we're working towards it but yeah he I don't know like the energy and the effort that he puts into everything and especially with Lumio Station which is kind of like the feel PokePals world is going for I just I want to be like him I want to ent entertain people as he does or more than he does if it would be amazing but yeah he is my biggest YouTube inspiration I can tell <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's your question. All right. Uh, what What's your, like, biggest hobby outside of Pokemon? Oh, dang it, it's still a question of mine. Um, <laughs> you just got to think of a new one, then. Yeah, I got to think of a new one. Um, my biggest thing that I do to pass the time when I'm not gaming is playing football. I actually... I don't play for a team, but I have a... Well, actually, I play for a five-side team. I don't say play for a proper, like, 11-side team. And I'm their goal goalkeeper. And... Football is my favorite hmm. thing to do outside of any sort of games. Like it, in the summertime, I'm gonna be out there all day and then all night. I got to bulk record the crap out of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, football is probably my favorite pastime. Oh, uh, when I say yeah. by the way, when I say football, I mean soccer. I know what you mean by football. Yeah, for because... everyone else, for all the other American people, I mean soccer. <laughs> I I think I think I know what you mean because American football is pretty different than soccer. So yeah. <laughs> if you ever watch American football, like I, I've watched a little bit of it, but it's not really shown over here that much. Ah, uh, that's probably why they do have we do have games in England, but I mean it's rare. Yeah. For the slight fan base that we have of American football in England, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but very very small fan base. Yeah, very much. So, what about you? What do you do past the time? Uh I usually hang out with friends or, like, go out and, like, work or something. Like, do some physical labor or something. It's just been, like, an easy way to get my mind off of things. 
it's it's always been a good escape. Also, listening to music, very much listening to music. Yeah, I listen to a lot of music. <laughs> oh yeah, big into Monster Cat, by the way. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, Jack's gotten me back into it, so I'm like, all right, I'm 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 back on I'm back into Monster Cat now. Shout out to Jack. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, he's not part. He's not part. Of, he's not part of the flannel anymore. He's not part of the flannel. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. This is the question I had to re-change. It was what are you doing in your spare time? It's now, what is your favorite topic at school, and why? Like my favorite subject to study? Yes. Uh, actually, statistics. Really. I'm a very big math person. Like I'm really into mathematics. It's always been my strong suit. So. Any reason why specifically you like it? Uh, it's just it's just come easy to me, and I've always been good at it. Oh, okay. My, my so like, history. History. I love learning about the past and stuff, and I know the stuff in the past can help with future events and can. Yeah, I, I got you. I find all that interesting. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do a decent bit with history as well. So I mean, it's it's part of what I'm doing for my English assignment to, uh, soon. So, I mean, <laughs> okay, it is okay. You asked that. Okay, you asked that question, so it's my turn to ask. Sorry for that, guys. The uh, Matt DC'd. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> oh, we, was, we just we, hashtag blame me. <laughs> hashtag blame Matt. Yeah, we had some technical issues, so we will <sighs> resume with Max. question five, I believe. Don't buy a Mac, guys. Buy a what? Windows computer, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's your question. Okay. Shout out to Jack. How MLG are you? <laughs> that's that's my question. How MLG am I? Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. How you, you never answered? You still gonna answer it? Um, I am. <laughs> I am Fedora. That is how MLG I am. Fedora is <laughs> like the laughing stock of MLG. I am. Kid. I am the laughing stock of MLG. <laughs> oh crap! The mouse was shut. Yeah, I am the laughing stock of MLG. <laughs> okay, how MLG are you then? I am I'm a 360 no scooper. I am no scooper. I am true MLG. <laughs> right. That is a perfect Jack question right there. Oh yeah. Um which game besides Pokemon is your favorite? I got to say I I <sighs> There are a few answers I want to say but I don't want to say at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite game besides Pokemon. Yes, can't be any Pokemon game. I'm honestly becoming a big fan of Monster Hunter. See what what people would hate you for that? No, <laughs> I I was gonna say Call of Duty, but I'm like no, <gasps> no, don't you dare say no. Call of Duty. Those words are banned from the channel. Call Call of and Duty, they're all banned. <laughs> they cannot be in the same sentence. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why is that your favorite? Well, one of your favorite games besides Pokemon. It's honestly a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it so much. I mean, it just it just reminds me a lot of like it kind of reminds me a lot of a portable Skyrim. <laughs> well, speaking Skyrim, of like, amazing game. Speaking of which, my favorite game, including Pokemon, if Pokemon was in there, is Skyrim. It is my number one game of all time. It is, in my opinion, the best game ever made. I love the quests. I love the story. I love the characters. I love the combat. I love everything about the game. It's I, beautiful. It's so, so much so, I at, at one time in my life attempted to start a channel based on Bethesda content when the first LP would be Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's honestly it's my favorite game. <laughs> yeah, basically me talking the crap I talk in the Nuzlocke, but getting killed by dragons at the same time. Because you, because apparently you're not good at Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but I, I play on the highest difficulty, and I was level 81, so fighting dragons was well difficult. Your um, last question. Alright. Wait, okay. Why do you not have a girlfriend? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I love it. I, wow! I was like, what will make Tom mad? And is... I was like, that will do it. Okay. Um. The peoples want to know. The peoples want to know. Okay. I haven't found the correct girl. Although I, I have found the right girl, but she lives in Canada and doesn't like me anymore in that way. So. We, we feels for you, Tom. Yeah. 
So I am looking for the English equivalent of Heather. <laughs> and I got Mary, so I mean. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Mary. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's, she's whenever she starts her own YouTube channel, I'll start um like putting it on. Uh, I'll put it in our links and everything. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I now have to, I have a mini question. Okay. One, how much do you love Mary? A lot. There we she's go. She's pretty awesome. Like <laughs> you, I... you would know. You would know she's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and my actual question is, if you could improve your co-host, aka me, how would you? If I could improve you in one way, what yes. would it be? I would make you have a thicker British... Actually, you know what? I have two ways. One, I would make you have a thicker British accent because it'd be pretty damn funny. <laughs> and two, I would make your webcam work. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I'd improve you by, uh, by making you record more. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> not working. No, not gonna work. Okay, guys, that was our um, one of possibly. I'm gonna say possibly two. Oh yeah, another thing. Promising. A, I'm not gonna promise a part two like someone else I know. But um. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there might be a part two to what a hundred subscriber special. But this is uh, that. Uh, that is it from me and Matt. Okay. So, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Matt, right, sign off first. All right, guys. Well, I'm, we're we're gonna go. So, uh, hopefully, we'll we'll be back soon with some other good videos. Uh, keep checking out all, all of our other partners like Vertigo, Mystic Zora, and um, what is it, uh, Harris Wellow? Yeah, Majestic Zora. Majestic Zora. I said, <laughs> what did I say, Mystic or something? Mi yeah, Mystic Zora. I mean, same difference. <laughs> <laughs> same difference. Anyway, guys, until next time, have fun and good boy.